Can, can you come up here? You look gorgeous. <laughs> I love inspiring people, so that's where I get a lot of um, the confidence. Because I am helping other people's lives to make sure that they express themselves. You used to always be yourself and always be proud of who you are no matter what anyone says to you. When I was two, um, after I saw season one of RuPaul's Drag Race, I um, started using my mom's towels, blankets, and bubble wrap, whatever I could get my hands on. I would wrap them around my body and put them on my head to make it look like I had a wig on. I started to going drag shows when I was five years old, and it was really fascinating to see these people like dressing how they wanted and all this fierce makeup they had on. So yeah, it was pretty amazing. Overnight, I became like this viral superstar. And when I vogue the whole way of the Pride Parade, and a fan um, started a fan page on Facebook called Desmond is Amazing, and I really love the name. So then I, I decided to keep my stage name as Desmond is Amazing. And um, that's what I've been known as um, to, to this day. When I was like six or seven, I would make me look like a, a, a car crash. But then I quit because I was like, I can't do makeup. But then once I did my photo shoot for Hardy Zane, my mom packed a bunch of makeup and I decided that I want to try out doing makeup. And I didn't give up, even though sometimes I did really bad. But sometimes I also created really amazing, like the I did one geometric where I had eyeliner and I made the like crazy shapes and then filled it out with eyeshadow. What was it like meeting RuPaul for the first time? Well, my mom thought that RuPaul just smiled at me and she thought that was gonna be the end of it. But then RuPaul was like, "Can you come up here?" And I was like, "I am going to come up here no matter what." And I said my drag name incorrectly. It was Desi that I said instead of Desmond. It's amazing. But that doesn't really matter. But the thing that matters is that I got to meet my idol and that he called me the future of America. My mom always watched documentaries and I would watch them. Some of them were about the Stonewall Riots, Club Kids, Blitz Kids. So that's how I learned about the culture of New York City. My relationship with my mom is so amazing. She is the biggest role model in my life. And I sketch out outfits and she makes them into reality, which is, um, I don't know how I would live without her. I would just faint. I think that I basically would rather have a kid that feels accepted to be himself and feels that he has a mind of his own to think with than to feel resentful. I think that all kids should, should be able to be creative and free thinking and not feel like they have to be a mini version of their parents. And I see that I'm doing the same thing like a soccer mom might do or a mom whose kid likes to paint, um, you know, they would buy them paints and paper and a soccer mom might buy the uniforms and the other equipment, whereas I'm helping him to make his costumes for what he wants to do. Bullies are people who are just jealous that you are so pretty and that you are so confident to do it. You want, it's not good to make fun of other people just because of what they're wearing. You used to always be yourself and always be proud of who you are no matter what anyone says to you. Um, any haters, just go away, because if you don't like it, then don't watch it. I can only own my own feelings, and I can't own what these other people's feelings are. So I, I try to pay it no mind, like Desmond says. The most positive thing is that he is visible out there and he is able to inspire others and engage others in his story. There's really no secret to parenting anybody except 
to teach them to do the right thing and to accept themselves and just encourage them to grow to respectful citizens. Work. That was amazing. <laughs> Be yourself always no matter what anyone says and just tell the haters to pay it no mind.